So I ran into a bit of a headache the other day as I was trying to download an image. Um, every time I tried to do so, I was getting an error 403 uh, forbidden uh, using, of course, the basic requests.url lib library in Python. So uh, this is the website that we are trying to scrape. Okay, in this example, it's got a bunch of images of US Congress people, and I want to programmatically scrape the images off the website. Um, and here's an example of if you scrape the, uh, the URLs to the profile pictures, you get it, get it looking like this. So um, if we try to retrieve the, the URL from the image, we get a very common error. You'll see, boom, error 403 forbidden. Okay, so uh, what if we try to use Selenium instead? instead of using uh, this URL or requests library. So we can do it here with Selenium. It boots up here. There we go, so it works. Nice. Uh, I wasn't able to reproduce this error, but um, I'd been fiddling with it for quite a while. And I think I made too many requests and uh, my IP got banned or something. Um, and so uh, we can access the image page right now using Selenium, but only sometimes it's not very, uh, consistent. And of course, one way you could try to bypass this is to pass headers um, to uh, the web driver. However, this doesn't always work. Um, when I was encountering this error yesterday, I passed every kind of header. I tried using the uh, Python package that passes rotating headers. So you're constantly trying to trick the, the cloud fil Cloudflare or whatever uh, filtering thing they've got on their website. Uh, and it doesn't it didn't work at all. So it, I just got this I don't think it was an error 403 that time. I think it was something like max retries. Anyways, I couldn't access the site programmatically at all. So one thing I found that was really nice is undetected Chrome driver. Uh, I think it uses the same framework as Selenium, uh, just ha has like some special properties that allows you to um, bypass a lot of the internet or uh, um, website filters that they ha might have on their server. So you can see we can use undetected Chrome driver instead of Selenium uh, and it, accesses it just as nicely, uh, except for, of course, um, whenever I get the error that I've been blocked or banned from the website, uh, undetected Chrome driver will work even if Selenium is blocked. So, okay, uh, we'll, so we use undetected Chrome driver instead of URL lib. However, the issue is that uh, URL, or sorry, this undetected Chrome driver has the same functions as Selenium, which means we can get to the image page, but we can't programmatically download the images. Um, and so if you looked up this issue, download image with Selenium Python, um, <laughs> the person gets the web element or whatever using Selenium uh, and then just downloads it using <laughs> the URL lib uh, library, right? That's not what we want because we just get banned, we get blocked, so it doesn't, it's not helpful. Um, another thing that they suggest is taking a screenshot, um, which I tried, and it, it does work, but screenshots are low res and there there's issues, right, because then you have to worry about zooming in the image to get it big enough, uh, and then you have to crop the image later, which results in issues, which I ran into, um, where the, it just crops the wrong part of the picture, uh, and there's all sorts of fuffle and uh, different things you have to think about. So screenshotting is really not the best. It's low res, there's other things you have to think about, so let's not screenshot things. <laughs> so instead, we want to actually save the image, and there's one way we haven't thought about, right? We could actually go into here, right click on the image and save the image as, right? So uh, we're going to use these two new Python packages that I found, PyAuto GUI and Action Chains. And these will allow us to um, programmatically scrape images using Selenium, or in this case, uh, undetected Chrome driver, uh, using this idea of right clicking and then saving the image. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, and of course, it'll do it without the requests library, which just gets blocked. So in this block of code here, you can see that I have imported pi auto GUI and uh, action chains, which is from Selenium WebDriver. Uh, so in this case, w when we're saving our file, it's going to ask us for a name. And if you don't provide it with the file name, uh, it'll just save some sort of random file name. Like it'll say like chromium dot like tr2x and it's different every time. And of course, if you're trying to link up these photos, with anything from the database, like the name or the party, you're going to be totally unable to do that programmatically because the the file name is random. So, uh, 
it's it's better to set the file name if you can. So of course I'm just doing this once, but if you're doing it programmatically and scraping all of these things, you'd have it inside a for loop, uh, and then you'd scrape the name as well, and you'd uh, name the file the name of the actual person. In this case, I just have it set as one. Uh, so and then in this second block here, we initialize the undetected Chrome driver with the options just like we did above, right? Uh, same thing. We pass it the URL. Uh, one thing to take note of here is you have to run the undetected Chrome driver with the browser window open because PyAuto GUI is going to like take over your computer. Uh, and if the window's not open, it'll just start clicking on things and hitting enter on your Jupyter notebook or on your uh, IDE. So make sure you have that turned to false, uh, which might be the default. I don't know. I just have it here so you can see it. <coughs> Excuse me. So then the third thing we do is we initialize the action chains, um, which allows us to uh, make the right click. Uh, and then we find the web element that we want to click on. In this case, it's super simple for me because it's just the only thing on the page, right? If we open this, it's like, <laughs> this is the HTML, right? I can click on the body or the image or anything. It's just like super, super simple. Uh, yeah, so then the, the next thing is to actually perform the right click. So we have the actions dot context click form. Uh, then I've used time dot sleep to separate this so I can, you can see it all happen when I run it. Uh, and then here's where we get to the auto GUI stuff. So uh, you are going to press down. So once we right click, it opens this menu, right? Uh, and in the Chrome driver, save image as isn't the first thing that comes up. It's like the second or third. So we have to use these um, these down clicks to select the right option. You could also pass like a, a letter key because you'll see that if I click, there's like different um, uh, letters that are underlined. Of course, if you hit one of the letters on your keyboard, it'll select that option too. So you can do it that way as well. Uh, and then for me, I get an error code when it pulls up the downloads folder. For some reason, it's not, there's no, the Chrome drivers denied access to my downloads folder. I just have to hit enter to clear that, that error. So you might not need this line. And then you write the file name. And then for some reason, if you hit enter again, it doesn't save the file name you entered. You actually have to click on the little button that says save. So you can use auto GUI to click on a specific pixel. <coughs> so it might take a few guesses for you to get the coordinates of the, uh, the save button correctly. You know, I sniped it, got a first try, no big deal. Uh, but yeah, you click on that, it saves the file with the file name in your downloads folder, and everything is awesome. I want to run this, and you can see magic. So here we go. We're opening up the uh, Chrome driver here. There we go. As you can see, it opened that, and it clicks on Save Image As. I'm going to hit Enter. There's the error code I told you about. If you just hit Enter, it goes away. You're going to see that in a sec here. Boom. And then it's going to pass the file name, Congressman, up at the top here. And then it's going to click right at the top here and it says save up, up right boom and you can see it download and then uh driver driver.quit closes the window and if we open up a new uh file explorer here and go to downloads you can see boom congressman saved right there and it's in full native resolution that it was on the website so yeah that is how to download pictures programmatically using selenium uh without getting blocked uh, by different web filters like Cloudflare. So yeah, thanks for listening. I hope this solves the problem if you had one. And uh, yeah, smash that like button for more awesome epic swag tutorials. See you later, gamers.